Hello and welcome back to the DTE Bishops YouTube channel. Today we're looking at part two of our on-shape robot design. We're going to be starting with making the head. So just like before, we're going to click on create, type in the title of my document, which is going to be head. And then from there, we'll just go through some extrudes and things like we were working on before when we made the body. We're going to show you a few new techniques that you can use to make things a bit easier for you. So off we go. So we click sketch and I'm clicking on the front plane there. So my mouse is just pointed to it and I'm going to click the front button. So I'm now going to draw out, just using some lines, the shape of the head I want. So up from the bottom, like that. We press the escape key to cancel drawing the lines just on your keyboard. I'm now going to dimension them lines. So I want my height first of all, which I'm going to set to 20. And I'm going to click my top line, which is going to be 10. And my bottom line is 5. Now a clever piece, or a clever operation, we can do something called mirror. So we click that mirror button there and click the center line. And all I do is I click all the lines I want to mirror. Once I'm happy, I just rename it. So all I did was press the mirror button Pick that center line and then click all the lines so you get a shape into isometric make sure i've selected head i want it um, so it's going in both directions this time and we're going to change the dimension there to 15. once i'm happy with that i press the tick so next up we're going to now look at putting on some of the details. So I think we're going to call this face. And we're actually going to do the metal patch, I believe, first. So just using the line tool again. We'll draw a line. Press escape to cancel the line. And I'm going to dimension this as I go, just so I'm a bit more accurate this time. So I want to set that this time to 11. It's going to move halfway down, which is not where I want it. So I need to put a dimension between them two points there. Now, if I want it to go above that line, I've got to put in a minus. So I put in one there, and now it's one millimeter above that point. So I can now draw out the rest of the shape I want. And this time, when I dimension it, I'm going to dimension them two lines. Now, what it will do is it won't come up with a dimension this time as a measurement. It's going to come up with an angle. So if I want them parallel, that needs to be 180. <clears throat> now this is a feature we haven't yet looked at in on shape, and that's once I've just finished this dimension, that's cutting things down. So we, I don't want it as big as it is at the moment. So I'm just going to draw a line, roughly where I want it, straight through the middle there. Press Escape to stop, and then I'm going to use the Delete tool, which looks like a pair of scissors. And I'm just going to cut away the lines. I don't want so I'm going to trim it back so we then get our shape there it's trimmed back I realize that distance is a bit too much so I'm going to put in 0.5 I forgot to put in the minus so I just go back type in minus so I'm happy with that press the tick and I'm going to do an extrude now one of the clever things I can do with this is when I do my extrude, I'm going to extrude it twice from the same sketch. So I click on extrude, so I press the extrude, by default it's going to go forwards and it's 25, so I'm going to change my distance to 5, and I've done it so it's going into the model. So now as you look at it, we've got that little corner piece going into the model. Now, because I've already got that sketch, which I've just clicked on again, I'm going to click extrude again, and this time just go forward, whoops, so if you do make a mistake like that, you just right click and go to edit. I'm going to change it to 0.5 and press the tick. Now if I use my right mouse button, I can spin the model around. You can just see it looks like he's got a bit of a patch over that corner. So now we're going to add some more details to it. I think the next one we're going to do is the eyes. So I'm going to click the face of the extrude. So I'm back around there and I'm going to draw in the eyes. So just like before, I draw the two circles out and then I'll go through and dimension them afterwards. Now the next couple of steps are exactly the same. So I'll quieten down, I'll let the music come on, take you through the steps, how I do the eyes again for the next few bits.
So we've finished extruding the eyes. I'm just going to do eyes two again. And I'm going to make sure I've clicked on the top surface of them eyes. So I'm working into them. And I'm going to put a couple of circles in here to make the iris and the inner part of the eyes. So time I do that, just remember we're just using them extrude features again, going through removing material and choosing our directions. Now remember you can use the dimension tool when needed to make sure that your circles are nicely dimensioned to the right size and just to help improve how things are going to look. extrude remember just make sure you select remove material and you change the direction so initially it comes up so it's adding it we press remove and I'm changing that depth to a more reasonable figure so you can play about with it I started with two I go down to one when I'm happy I just press the tick so we're gonna add some more features now I'm not gonna talk you through them this time I'm gonna leave you to just have a watch through see how they're done remember to play pause and I'll come back to you when I think there's something important we need to look at. we're just going to use the fillet feature which is just going to round off them corners so remember you need to type in the number if it doesn't work first time putting a smaller number so one millimeter is working for me I'm clicking them all the ones on the outside and then I'm using that right mouse button to spin things round and then I'm also going to do the inside surfaces so just clicking in there using the right mouse button holding it down and moving the mouse around to get to the angles that I can't quite see there we go so that's all of them done and then we're going to press tick and we can move on to the next few features so carry on watching and see what happens next
Um, I didn't talk you through adding the next. I thought that was by now we should have picked up how to do these features. What I'm going to do now is just put in multiple circles, just to give the idea that he's got some this piece been bolted or riveted on. So I'm just drawing them any shape. Now the next bit might get a bit confusing because we're going to dimension them. So what I'm going to make sure I do is I don't dimension them all to one millimeter first. And then what I need to do is just make sure that the space in between each circle is the same. So two millimeters works for me. So I click the center of one circle. And in this case at the moment I'm clicking that line. So this, I'm just going to put in one there so it moves it down one millimeter. And you can see the two millimeters set for the next one. So when I dimension them, one millimeter, click the center of one, center of the next one, drag out that line, and I'll set that to two. And I'm just going to carry on that process as we go around, adding some more points to this. I might round off a few little bits to make them look a bit more realistic. But again, keep watching the video. Hope you're enjoying it. Just finishing off putting some rounds onto them rivets to hold that plate on that we've created to give the personality to the robot. Now in a moment what we're going to do is we're going to look at how we can assemble the two parts we've made so far. So that's the body we made in tutorial one to the head and it's actually quite simple. So we have finished this off, remember it's auto saving for us. So I've just opened up body, so I've gone back into one shape, opened up body and down the bottom I need to click on that assembly button and click on insert and part one which is the body so we just press the tick and the body will come in so what I need to do now is go into other find the parts created by me to find the head the head will come in 
Now what we basically can do is tell the computer that we want to put the neck into the hole on the body and we do that by clicking the cylindrical mate. So I click the inside surface of the hole and then next I want to click the outside surface of the neck and you'll notice both join over to each other. On limits, so I've just hit that limits under Z, I put in 5 millimeters, and that's just going to make sure that it's done there. And that's it, we've joined the head to the body. Thanks for watching, we hope you've enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe to the DTE Bishops YouTube channel.